Are you tired of duffing your chips and your buddies making fun of you when you're out on the golf course? It's likely a result of two things that are impacting your ability to execute the chip you want and hit the landing spots. This is a breakdown oftentimes of poor body movement and that results in a lack of low point control. All these stations, all these drills are designed to not only show you what you need to do to improve your chipping, but also how to practice to make these swing changes stick. In station one, we're gonna target that body motion that Eric was talking about. You're gonna take your normal setup, but this time you're gonna put the ball just slightly forward so that you can lift your trail foot off of the ground. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make that same chipping motion, but you have to hold your finish and never allow your trail foot to touch the ground. The second drill is called control your arc. You're gonna need two coins for this drill and you're gonna put one coin in front of the golf ball and one coin behind the golf ball. So it'll look like this. So each coin is about the sole of my wedge away from the golf ball on either side. And what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to hit a chip shot, bringing the same feelings that I just generated from drill one with my body movement, but I'm gonna to try to make contact with both coins while I collect the ball. If you do this correctly, both coins should go flying in the air it's going to give you great feedback if you're controlling the bottom of your swing. In station three, we're going to work on landing zones. We've put a towel on the green where we believe the ball needs to land to allow it to end up in the hole or as close to the hole as possible. What you're going to do in this drill is the first ball, you're going to hit just past the towel. The second ball, you're going to hit on the towel and the third ball, you're gonna land short of the towel. So for the first one, we're gonna hit it past the towel and have it try and end up in the circle. For the second one, we're gonna try and land the ball on the towel. And for the last one, we're gonna land the ball just short of the towel. There we have it, an effective practice circuit for your chipping. Now, all that's left to decide is the appropriate amount of challenge. So, if you are a beginner or an intermediate golfer, you will hit three balls at each station. If you are an advanced golfer, you'll hit three balls at station one, three balls at station two, you'll also hit three balls at station three, but what you're gonna do as an advanced golfer is you're gonna vary the lie. You're gonna try and find poor lies, up slopes, down slopes, to help you start to adapt to the environment that we're gonna to have to transfer our skills into the golf course. Science has proven that just hitting chip shot after chip shot will not change your mechanics. If you truly wanna change your swing and hit better chip shots, you need to add spacing, variability, and challenge into your practice to make those swing changes stick.